Okay, so let's have a look at how to use the big video machine and how simple it is to create videos, unique videos from any text article that you've got lying around anywhere. Okay, so this is ideal for repurposing any content that you've got lying around in written form. So this is what happens when you open up the software. It's all very, very simple. So we've made it that way. So I'm going to go through it with you now just to show you. The first thing it's going to ask us to do is to put in an article. Now, I've got one that I've, I've just written up here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that. And I'm just going to paste it in here. Okay, so every time that there is a new paragraph, that will start a new slide in the video. Okay, so you want to be careful not to put too much uh, text in each paragraph, otherwise it's going to uh, be a little bit too compressed onto the video. So make the paragraphs, each paragraph is what it's going to say on a slide. And you'll see that in a moment. Okay, so that's the, uh, the article that we've got in there. Uh, next thing we can do is to set the background uh, of the actual um, video and set the font. Okay, at the moment, that's what we've got. White background with Tahoma. That's what it always defaults to. So let's just make the background a different color. Let's make it this nice dark blue color like that. And if I've done that, then I really ought to set the font to a different color as well. Now, you can re... Uh, set the font here it's whatever font you want the video to show as uh, you can put bold you can make the size different i'm going to keep it as the default one for this and you'll see that it's turned it to white i can alternatively if i wanted to use an image as the background for the video as well okay so i'm not going to choose that i'm going to keep it a, a plain color but you can have an image all the way through the video um, at the back of the text. Okay, so the next thing we need to decide is uh, music. Now I've got a, a file with some music in here, so I'm going to choose that one. Okay, now you can get uh, PLR music with no rights on uh, from a lot of different places. And there is a site called Duke Deck where you can actually have a computer generate a track for you. If you know how long your video is, then that is ideal. You can go and create unique um, music over there. Um, and if you want to, I think it's free, but you have to put a, a, something in your article to give an attri attribution to them. Uh, otherwise, you pay a dollar, I think it is, or two dollars, and you get to use it as much as you like. Okay, so that's that. So we've chosen some music. The output folder, it will default to documents vidical, so um, you can leave it at that. Now, we can finish on a blank slide, and this is at the end of the um, video, a blank slide. The last page of the article will finish the video, or we can choose an image. I'm going to choose image for this. Um, it's all about fish and chips, and I've got a picture of a fish and chip shop here. And I can also, if I choose to, uh, use an image for the first frame. Now, I've chosen, a, for, the, for that last image there, I've chosen a fish and chip shop. It would probably make more sense if you're using these as review videos to uh, put a call to action slide on there. Okay, so that would be, you know, make an image with a great big arrow pointing to where the link's going to be saying, now click here for more information. That would be the, the perfect last image to put on this. But um, I've just put a chip shop on. And it also gives us the option here if we want an image for our first frame of the video. And I'm going to click yes, and I'm going to use the same chip shop image on this video. Okay. Um, seconds per frame that's how long it's going to stay on each of these slides before it moves on five seconds if you've got short um, text uh, like I have for each slide then that's that's ample you'll see when we generate the video and then you can um, name it here okay so I'm going to call it chips uh, dot mp4 and if you're overwriting a previously recorded one say you've recorded one you don't quite like like the look of it or you want to change something then you can overwrite what is already there okay 
One last thing before we uh, go any further and create the, the video. If you click here, you can save this project, okay? You save or save as. You save the project, and next time you open up the big video machine, it will create a, uh, it will put it all back in as you, as you saved it, okay? So there'll be no issues with that at all. Okay, so uh, with that then, let's generate the video. And it only takes seconds to do this. It's creating the video now, compressing it and adding the audio. Um, it may take a little bit longer because I'm using a lot of resources using this. No, it's done it, look, it's done it already. So let's open the location and have a look at our video. There it is. So let's open this up. stop it going any further uh, so uh, that's it you can um, obviously play around with all of this stuff and uh, if you don't like it come back and overwrite it and change it as much as you like um, and one last thing I'll mention is this tube optimizer button here if you haven't bought my tube optimizer wizard software uh, when you click that it will tell you to upgrade uh, there is a pro f uh, version of this. If you've bought my Tube Optimizer Wizard, you won't need that. And if you click on yes, it will take you to um, the Tube Optimizer Wizard, okay? If you haven't bought that and you're buying the, the this product as a standalone product, then if you click this, it will take you to where you can upgrade and get this Tube Optimizer added in. And basically what that does is it provides you with an optimized description and tags for your video okay so uh, that's something that's useful if you haven't got my tube optimizer wizard you can get one included inside this software and um there you go that's it and uh, with that any questions hit me up on support but i think it's very self-explanatory thank you and bye for now